All right, we're going to take a look at uh, three examples of finding the slope of the equation of a line that's, or slope of the line crossing through two points. So if I have an x1, a y1, so those ones are a subscript like submarine underneath, and x2, y2, second x, second y. Formula for the slope is the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So example, we'll look at 4 and 7, and 8 and 10. I like to label my x1, y1, x2, y2, just to help myself out with the formula. I also like to rewrite my formula just, just to get that extra practice so I remember it. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we'll go ahead and plug it in. y2 is 10. y1 is 7, so 10 minus 7 divided by x2 is 8, minus x1 is 4, 10 minus 7 is 3, uh, 8 minus 4 is 4. Um, this is positive, so um, we would say that this line would rise, so it will rise, so if we did like a rough sketch, like 4 and 7 would be something like this, and then 8 and 10 would be something like that. And it rises as we go left to right. So a very rough sketch, but you can see that it is rising. Okay. So now if it was negative, if it's negative, it's going to be a fall. But this one was positive, so we got a rise. So same game, let's look at 5 and 3. 5 and negative 3. So we'll label first x, first y, second x, second y m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's going to be negative 2 minus 3 over 5 minus 5, which will be minus 5 over 0. And that is a number over 0, so that is no. That's undefined. That is undefined. And the type of line we would have, let's take a look here. So we'll just do rough sketch. Here's 5 for the x-coordinate, 3 and negative 3. So there's where those points would be, and we would have a vertical line. So if my slope is undefined, I have a vertical line. All right, let's look at one more. Let's say we'll do 5 and 3, and negative 5 and 3. So first x, first y, second x second y, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that'll be 3 minus 3 over negative 5 minus 5. That's going to be 0 over negative 10. And that's going to be, well, it's a 0 over a number that's on, so that's 0. So this is equal to 0. Okay. And this is actually going to be a horizontal line. If I went ahead and graphed it, we'd have the point negative 5 and 3, and 5 and 3. And then when I connect my dots, I have a nice horizontal line. Okay. And that's finding our slope. And then whether it rises, falls, uh, horizontal or vertical.